Hey family, we have some important information for our social security recipients. They are on the verge of receiving some increased monthly checks within the next 48 hours. Yes, we are talking about the latest COLA increase for 2024 that is expected to raise the benefits by 3.2%. And some individuals are receiving as much as $5,000 per month. In addition, we have updated news regarding the social security overpayments. New study is showing that they were actually sent out to one out of every four recipients. And now the request for repayment is tearing up families who were already struggling as it is. But I do have a little bit of good information about the situation and I'll be sharing that with you in just a moment. But before we get started, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel as well as hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now let's go ahead and start with the video. Starting off, we have some excellent news right here. And this is in relation to our social security recipients. And that is because of the recent an announcement that came out uh, around October about the COLA increase, better known as the cost of living adjustment, uh, we found out that that adjustment or that increase for the new year 2024 is going to be around 3.2%. Well, the good news is that those recipients are going to be receiving their first increased check within the next 48 hours. As you can see in this particular article, it says that the Social Security COLA increase for 2024, uh, you're going to be receiving your first increased check is coming next month. Now, this can get a little bit tricky in regards to this article because they are referring to next month being January. Well, we all know about the quirk in the system, which pretty much means that if any time that you are expected to receive a monthly check on a holiday or even a weekend, in, you are going to be receiving that check a little bit earlier. Well, guys, as it appears that January the 1st is a holiday, that means your monthly check is not going to be coming on Monday. You are going to be receiving it this Friday. That is within the next 48 hours. But the question is, how much will you actually receive? I have information in this particular article to share with you that is going to discuss exactly that. As we all know that each year, the Social Security Administration Office determines what the COLA increase is going to be, which determines how much our recipients are going to be receiving in addition to the previous year for their monthly checks and that is why we have been told that the increase the official number is around 3.2 percent now I'll just go ahead and give you a heads up that equates on an average for majority of recipients to get an increase of about fifty dollars per month on average don't forget but I do have an article that I'm going to show you in just a moment where some individuals may receive around five thousand dollars per month I know I'd wish every Everyone could actually receive that amount, but uh, just stay with me right here. It says that how much will my social security payment be for 2024 COLA increase? Well, if you look right here that a retiree, the average monthly increase is going to be about $58, which the average 2024 check amount, which is $1,885. Those individuals that work or have disabilities, your increase per month is going to be around $47 for a total total amount of $1,530 per month. And then if you are a single couple, both receiving benefits, you're going to be receiving around a $95 increase per month, which is an average amount for the total check to be around $3,067. If you are a widower, your monthly increase is going to be about $55 for a total amount of $1,759. And then if you are a widower with two children, your monthly increase is going to be about $113 for a total amount of $3,633. Now, the question is, when will I see my COLA increase on my Social Security monthly check? Like I just told you guys, those increases are starting for the month of January, and the January check is coming within the next 48 hours. You are going to be receiving your January 2024 check on this week, this Friday, which I believe is December the 29th. Fact check me if you can. But anyways, this is some great news because you are finally going to be receiving the increase amount on your social security check. Now, the bad news is that this is still not enough money. This increase that they are providing, 3.2%, is still not enough considering what we've gone through over the last three years in regards to the inflation in this country, in regards to the increased prices of foods, uh, goods and services, as well as everything out there.
weather, including gas prices. Everything has gone up skyrocketing. So when we look at these particular increases of $58 all the way up to $113, it's still not enough for our recipients. Wouldn't you guys agree? If so, hit the like button down below and comment and let me know that you agree with me on that. However, we are very, very, very appreciative of the increase because if you think about it, they really didn't have to do it. We all know that a lot of those lawmakers in Congress are not fighting for our Social Security recipients. So uh, to look at it from that perspective, getting this increase is a good thing when you guys agree. But anyways, like it says right here that Americans are getting a higher Social Security payments this week. Like I just said, you are getting it on Friday. And right here, I have an interesting article right here that says that Social Security high earners, talking about those individuals that make a lot of money, will get almost $5,000 per month in 2024. And here is how it all plays out. It says that Social Security recipients could face some big changes in 2024 thanks to inflation and tax-related adjustments that will impact everything from monthly benefits to how much recipients owe in their taxes. For one, the top benefit in 2024 will approach $5,000 per month. Like I said, I wish everyone could receive $5,000 a month. I believe that would actually be enough to survive, keep food on the table to pay for our electricity bill, as well as to take your medication every single day. That is what I think, but correct me if I'm wrong down below in the comment section. But anyways, the old age and disability program provides monthly payments to more than 70 million people, ranging from children to retirees. Those benefits are credited with keeping millions of Americans from slipping into poverty. With the monthly checks adjusted each year to keep up with the inflation, in 2024, benefits will increase by 3.2%. Now, right here, it might make a lot of people upset because it says that the top social security benefit will hit almost $5,000 per month, according to the SSA, which they announced the annual uh, COLA increase back in October. Uh, this increase, much smaller than we saw back in 2023. However, it is still higher than the zero amount. But retirees who receive maximum Social Security payout will see much higher earnings, with their monthly checks jumping to $4,873 in 2024, according to the Social Security Administration office. That's an additional $318 per month in each paycheck compared with the current year, 2023. So the question is who gets the top payout well might shock you guys not many people they're saying that the only way to get this much money is if you're the ceo of apple tim cook and you have been paying the maximum into your payroll taxes it's like one percent to two percent so yes guys even though some individuals may qualify for up to five thousand dollars not that many people are actually receiving it. As it says right here, that only one to 2% of people could actually be eligible to receive as much as the $4,800 that we just talked about. But it does sound good, right? But anyways, I just wanted to share that information with you. Now moving on to our second topic of this particular video, let's go ahead and talk about the turmoil in regards to the social security overpayments that have been going on for quite some time. Some individuals are being told that they have been overpaid in their monthly benefits for at least four years all the way up to the last 10 years and according to this particular article that just was released on Christmas Day says that they found out according to a survey that one in four people recipients were actually sent overpayments in regards to their monthly checks this is rather shocking. That means 25% of people were paid wrongly? Uh, come on, Social Security Administration Office. What were you doing? What were you thinking? And now our recipients are struggling and suffering from this issue because you were sending them letters telling them that they owe you money and if they don't pay, huge consequences are going to be a result. Say it ain't so, guys. Say it ain't so. Well, apparently... One in four Americans say that they have received too much in Social Security payments, according to a recent polling conducted by Newsweek. And according to the SSA, which is under fire right now, especially with Congress, uh, they, that is because they are clawing back billions of dollars in overpayments to our SS recipients. Earlier this month, the acting commissioner of the agency apologized after understating how many people have been sent overpayment notices. Reports said that more than two 
two million Americans are impacted by being paid too much money by the SSA each year, more than double of the number that Kalola Kajakazi gave to lawmakers during a congressional hearing back in October. And according to a poll by Redfield and Wilton Strategies on behalf of Newsweek, uh, it said that 25% of those who said that they received Social Security payments reported that they had accidentally been paid more than what they should have been paid. The poll surveyed 1,500 eligible voters in the U.S. on December the 19th. So uh, anyways, guys, I hope that the administration office gets a huge awakening in regards to these particular overpayments because uh, now you are causing people to potentially think about the idea of doing suicide. You should never think about that in regards to receiving these social security payments. Wouldn't you guys agree? But uh, yes, it is. So we had one particular recipient said that she is just waiting to die right now. She can't wait any longer. As you can see in this particular article, it says that I am just waiting to die because of the social security clawbacks is driving some individuals to being homeless. Uh, yes, this one individual was interviewed in regards to her getting these letters in the mail about paying the money back. She says she can't pay that money back. She doesn't even have enough money to pay for her lights to be cut on right now, let alone pay all of this thousands of dollars back to the administration office. And right now she said that as she continues to wait to see how lawmakers and what they do in regard to these clawbacks by the Social Security Administration office, she said pretty much she is just waiting to die. She doesn't have a place to live. She doesn't have food on her table. She doesn't have money in her pocket. So what else is she to do and now she is being threatened by the social security administration office that they are going to cut off her monthly checks her monthly benefits for social security it doesn't even matter whether or not you have worked 30 plus years and now you are eligible to receive these monthly payments as you were told years ago and now they are threatening to remove that from you the only benefit that you have remaining for you or recipients is now being threatened to be taken away. This is just sad. This is not right, guys. We need to call on our lawmakers to do something about it. We need to call on the president, President Joe Biden, to do something about it as well. Where is Social Security reform? We have got to improve this uh, Social Security program, if you will. But uh, in addition to that particular story, we also saw this particular individual in Alabama. Uh, he is saying that the administration office is asking him to repay $92,000 and they are demanding the repay payment right now and if he doesn't repay that money back they are threatening him to remove his monthly benefit checks as well like I said, guys, a lot of people are struggling. A lot of people are going crazy right now. Some individuals are just waiting to die. Uh, it is insane. But I do have a little bit of good news in regards to these overpayments. Don't get too excited, guys. It is not that great. But uh, here it is. Right now, there is a proposal on the table that puts an actual limit on the amount of how much Social Security can go back in regards to these overpayments. Uh, yes, this new proposal that is on the table right now that is being pushed in Congress is aimed at trying to help some Social Security beneficiaries who have been told that they owe money because the government mistakenly overpaid them. Oh yes, uh, this particular new proposal, it wants to limit the amount of years that it can go back to 10 years. Yes, I said it wasn't that good of a news, but it is just a little bit of good news, guys, because some individuals are going back as much as 15 years, but majority of them are less than 10 years. So uh, anyways, I don't necessarily agree with this particular 10 year limit. I feel like a great strategy or a great compromise would have been like around five years. But anyways, guys, I would love to get your take on this, how you feel about this. Comment down below and let me know how you feel about it. But outside of that, I hope all this information in this video was helpful to you today. Well, anyways, that's all we have for you today, but feel free to check out some of the items down below in the description. There are a couple of opportunities for you to earn some free money or some free cash, such as signing up with Webull, where they are giving away 12 free stocks after you sign up and use it for the first time. The good thing about that promotion is that uh, those stocks can actually be worth around $3,000. In addition to that, don't forget about signing up for the Amazon Prime membership where you can get 30 days for free. It is a great opportunity 
for you to be able to watch all of the Prime shows as well as get your items delivered to your front door for totally free. Anyways, those are just a few. Check out the links down below. Anyways, if you enjoyed today's content and you want to see more, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And if you like today's video, then go ahead and hit the like button for us. It really helps out this channel as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others. But anyways, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.